conversion. Dear children, you in the parish, be converted. This is my other wish, that way all those who shall come here shall be able to convert. Pray still more these days for the conversion of sinners. Let all the prayers you say in your homes in the evening be for the conversion of sinners, because the world is in great sin. Dear children, I know that you are all tired, but you don't know how to surrender yourselves to me. During these days surrender yourselves completely to me. I call you to pray with the heart. If you pray with the heart, dear children, the ice of your brothers will melt, and every barrier shall disappear. Conversion will be easy for all who desire to accept it. That is the gift which by prayer you must obtain for your neighbor. Start from this moment. Turn off the television and renounce various things that are of no value. Dear children, I'm calling you individually to conversion. This season is for you. I want to wrap you all in my mantle and lead you all along the way of conversion. Dear children, I beseech you, surrender to the Lord your entire past, all the evil that has accumulated in your hearts. I want each one of you to be happy, but in sin nobody can be happy. Therefore, dear children, pray, and in prayer you shall realize a new way of joy. Joy will manifest in your hearts, and thus you shall be joyful witnesses of that which I and my son want from each one of you. I call each one of you to begin to live as of today that life which God wishes of you, and to begin to perform good works of love and mercy. I do not want you, dear children, to live the message, and be committing sin which is displeasing to me. Therefore, dear children, I want each of you to live a new life without destroying all that God produces in you, and is giving you. I give you my special blessing and I am remaining with you on your way of conversion. I am calling you to complete conversion, which is difficult for those who have not chosen God. God can give you everything that you seek from Him, but you seek God only when sicknesses, problems and difficulties come to you, and you think that God is far from you, and is not listening, and does not hear your prayers. No, dear children, that is not the truth. When you are far from God, you cannot receive graces, because you do not seek them with a firm faith. Day by day, I am praying for you, and I want to draw you ever more near to God, but I cannot, if you don't want it. Therefore, dear children put your life in God's hands. Therefore, little children, believe and pray, that the Father increase your faith, and then ask for whatever you need. I am with you, and I am rejoicing because of you conversion and I am protecting you with my motherly mantle. I am interceding for you before God, that he gives you the gift of conversion of the heart. For years I am calling you, and exhorting you to a deep spiritual life in simplicity, but you are so cold. Therefore, little children, I ask you to accept and live the messages with seriousness, so that your soul will not be sad, when I will no longer be with you, and when I will no longer lead you like insecure children in their first steps. Therefore, little children, every day read the messages that I have given you, and transform them into life. I love you, and therefore I am calling you all to the way of salvation with God. I desire, dear children, to call all of you to a full conversion, so that joy will be in your hearts. My presence here is to take you on a new path the path to salvation. This is why I call you, day after day to conversion. But if you do not pray, you cannot say that you are on the way to being converted. I pray for you, and I intercede to God for peace, first peace in your hearts and also peace around you, so that God may be your peace. I call you to begin to change your life from the beginning, and that you decide for conversion not with words, but with your life. Dear children, it is a grace that I am with you. That is why you should accept and live my messages for your own good, I love you, and that is, why I am with you, in order to teach you, and to lead you to a new life of conversion and renunciation. Only in this way, will you discover God and all that which now seems so far away from you. Therefore, my dear children, pray, I invite you to decide to give time patiently for prayer, little children. You cannot say you are mine, and that you have experienced conversion through my messages, if you are not ready to give time to God every day. I am close to you, and I bless you all. Little children, do not forget that, if you do not pray you are not close to me, nor are you close to the Holy Spirit who leads you along the path to holiness. 
I invite you to live the peace in your hearts and families. There is no peace, little children, where there is no prayer and there is no love, where there is no faith. Therefore, little children, I invite you all to decide again today for conversion. I'm close to you, and I invite you all, little children, into my embrace to help you, but you do not want, and in this way, Satan is tempting you, and in the smallest thing, your faith disappears. This is why little children, pray and through prayer, you will have blessing and peace. The Holy Spirit will enlighten you to understand that you must convert. Little children, I wish to make of you a most beautiful bouquet prepared for eternity, but you do not accept the way of conversion, the way of salvation, that I'm offering you through these apparitions. Little children, pray, convert your hearts, and come closer to me. May good overcome evil. I love you and bless you. I invite you to conversion. This is the most important message that I have given you here. Little children, I wish that each of you become a carrier of my messages. I invite you, little children, to live the messages that I have given you over these years. This time is a time of grace. Choose life and not death of the soul, little children, and in this time, when you meditate upon the suffering and death of Jesus I invite you to decide for life which blossomed through the resurrection, and that your life may be renewed today through conversion, that shall lead you to eternal life. I invite you again, to put prayer in the first place in your families. Little children, when God is in the first place, then you will, in all that you do, seek the will of God. In this way your daily conversion will become easier. Little children, seek with humility, that which is not in order in your hearts, and you shall understand what you have to do. Conversion will become a daily duty, that you will do with joy. Little children, I'm with you, I bless you all, and I invite you to become my witnesses by prayer and personal conversion. I invite you to open yourselves to me, and to decide for conversion. Your hearts, little children, are still not completely open to me and therefore, I invite you again to open to prayer, so that in prayer the Holy Spirit will help you, that your hearts become of flesh, and not of stone. Dear children, today I invite you to decide every day for God. Little children, you speak much about God, but you witness little with your life. Therefore, little children, decide for conversion, that your life may be true before God, so that in the truth of your life you witness the beauty God gave you. Little children, I invite you again, to decide for prayer because through prayer, you will be able to live a conversion. Each one of you shall become in the simplicity, similar to a child, which is open to the love of the Father. I invite you to open yourselves to God the Creator, so that He changes you. Little children, you are dear to me, I love you all, and I call you to be closer to me, and that your love towards my Immaculate Heart be more fervent. I wish to renew you, and lead you with my heart to the heart of Jesus, which still today suffers for you, and calls you to conversion and renewal. Through you, I wish to renew the world. Comprehend, little children, that you are today the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Little children, I invite you, and I love you, and in a special way implore, convert, I call you, through prayer. To open yourselves to God as a flower opens itself to the rays of the morning sun. Little children, do not be afraid. I'm with you, and I intercede before God for each of you, so that your heart receives the gift of conversion. Only in this way, little children, will you comprehend the importance of grace in these times and God will become nearer to you. This, little children, is a time of grace for you. Make good use of it for your personal conversion, because when you have God, you have everything. I call you to become my witnesses, by living the faith of your fathers. Little children, you seek signs and messages, and do not see that, with every morning sunrise, God calls you to convert, and to return to the way of truth and salvation. You speak much, little children, but you work little on your conversion. That is why, convert and start to live my messages, not with your words, but with your life. In this way, little children, you will have the strength to decide for the true conversion of the heart. Dear children, today I call you to prepare yourselves for the coming of Jesus. In a special way, prepare your hearts. 
May holy confession be the first act of conversion for you and then, dear children, decide for holiness. May your conversion and decision for holiness begin today and not tomorrow. I call you to prayer with the heart, in a special way, little children, I call you to pray for conversion of sinners, for those who pierce my heart and the heart of my son Jesus with the sword of hatred and daily blasphemies, only with love and prayer, little children, can you live this time which is given to you for conversion, place God in the first place, then the risen Jesus will become your friend, you are concerned too much about material things and little about spiritual ones, open your hearts, and start again to work more on your personal conversion, decide every day to dedicate time to God, and to prayer, until prayer becomes a joyful meeting with God for you, only in this way, will your life have meaning, and with joy you will contemplate eternal life, I call you to open yourselves to prayer, little children, you live in a time in which God gives great graces, but you do not know how to make good use of them, you are concerned about everything else, but the least for the soul and spiritual life, awaken from the tired sleep of your soul, and say yes to God with all your strength, decide for conversion and holiness, I'm with you, little children, and I call you to perfection of your soul, and of everything you do, dear children, today when Jesus is born on you for you, in a special way, I want to call you to conversion, pray, pray pray for the conversion of your heart, so that Jesus may be born in you all, and may dwell in you, and come to reign over your entire being, little children, you are still, attached to earthly things and little to spiritual life. May my call today also be an encouragement to you to decide for God, and for daily conversion, you cannot be converted, little children, if you do not abandon sins, and do not decide for love towards God and neighbor, in this time of grace, I call you to become friends of Jesus, pray for peace in your hearts and work for your personal conversion, little children, only in this way, will you be able to become witnesses of peace, and of the love of Jesus in the world. Open yourselves to prayer, so that prayer becomes a need for you, be converted, little children, and work so that as many souls as possible may come to know Jesus and his love, I'm close to you, and I bless you all, open yourselves to prayer and seek a conversion of your hearts from God, everything else he sees and provides, thank you for having responded to my call.